Hi everyone, in this video I'm joined by Mr Jones who is going to help me test these two pieces of metal to destruction. So what we've got here is a very thin wire of iron which is a pure metal and we've got a very thin wire of steel which is an alloy. It's iron mixed with some carbon. So we've already got 500 grams hanging down on each metal. We're going to gradually add more weight to see which is the strongest the pure metal, the iron, or the alloy, which is steel. So we'll have another 100 grams going on. And still both are hanging in there. Now we're up to 700 grams. Still no sign of any of them breaking. 800 grams. We've now got 900 grams going on. So we can see that the pure metal is broken, uh, the iron is broken, the steel is still holding with 900 grams. So let's see how much stronger the alloy is. That's now got 1000 grams on it and it's still not broken. That one broke uh, before. Now it's got 1100 grams on, still not broken. So it's quite a bit stronger than the pure metal. 1200 grams on, so it's 50% stronger than the pure metal now, and this might just about do it. 1300 grams on, still not broken. And be very careful because when it goes, it's going to go with a bang. And finally, at 1300 grams, we managed to break the alloy. So now we're going to have a look at what's different in the atoms of an alloy that makes it so much stronger than the pure metal on its own. First of all, we need a clear definition of what an alloy actually is. An alloy is a mixture of a metal and another element. So this could be the mixture of a metal and a non-metal. For example, steel that we've just seen is iron mixed with carbon. It could also be a mixture of two metals. So for example, brass is made from a mixture of copper and zinc. Let's have a look now at the arrangement of atoms in a pure metal. So if you think about the pure metal we've just seen, which is iron, the atoms in the iron are all the same size. It's an element, so it's made of the same type of atom. That means they're all the same size. So when you try and uh, break the metal, the atoms can slide past each other. And that means that the metal is soft. Very often on an exam you might be asked why pure iron is too soft to use in everyday um, contexts. And the answer would be that the atoms are all the same size so they can slide past each other and that's what's making the metal soft. We're going to have a look now at how the atoms are arranged differently in an alloy. So if you take the example of steel, that's iron mixed with carbon, and we can see we've now got different sized atoms. We've got the larger iron atoms and the smaller carbon atoms. This distorts the layers. We can see now that the atoms aren't in nice neat rows, and that means the atoms can't slide past each other as easily. And this is what makes an alloy much stronger. So you need to make sure you remember these four points for your exam in case you get asked a question about why an alloy is stronger than the pure metal on its own. If you found this video helpful, please remember to like and subscribe to my channel, Revised Chemistry with Mr. B. Thank you for watching.